This person is saying it's okay that the CIA partnered with the NED and helped engineer a coup in the Ukrainian government in 2014, deposing their pro-Russian democratically elected leader and installed a figurehead who was pro-EU, pro-NATO, pro-United States. That is part of Ukrainian independence. That was just representing their independence. It's okay that America has a sphere of influence that stretches across the entire world. That sphere of influence does not need to be questioned or even talked about. It's just a given. It is an axiom. It's only Russia that is not entitled to a sphere of influence because it's only Russia that should not be confined to the laws of geopolitics. This person does not understand the concept of a proxy war, that it is the very fact of the United States sphere of influence which has marched up to Russia's borders and entered into a hostile military alliance with much of its neighbors, which has instigated and provoked Russia to attack. Like it or not, that is how geopolitics works. You do not get to decide what Russia considers an existential threat to its territorial sovereignty, a fact which is well known in the United States among high levels of government. And if you disagree with me, then you also disagree with the head of the CIA currently, William Burns who predicted that this war would happen needlessly because of NATO expansion. If you disagree with me, you disagree with George Kennan, the chief architect of Cold War policy which opposed the Soviet Union. Even he said that there was no need to expand NATO to the east and go into Russia's sphere of influence. Even he admitted that Russia was not a threat, not posing a threat to NATO or to any of Eastern Europe. You think that you're morally posturing right now, like you're being self-righteous, that you're taking the moral high ground by saying, yes, Ukraine should be independent. But what you're really saying is that you want the Ukrainian government, which is a CIA puppet regime, to be independent. You're not talking about the Ukrainian people. You don't even know what the Ukrainian people want. Because if you did, you wouldn't be saying this. What you are calling for is the devastation and decimation of Ukraine. Ukrainians were actually polled before the war and asked, what did they consider more of a threat, Russia or NATO? And the majority said NATO. I know that in liberal la-la land, it's not okay for countries to have a sphere of influence, but back in the real world, this is how things operate. And as the leader of the free world, the only global superpower, we should be moral arbiters of peaceful diplomacy. In fact, we do the opposite. We are the world's worst terrorists. It's just part of good common sense to think that the United States belongs in Ukraine. It belongs in the Baltic states. It belongs in Eastern Europe. It belongs in Southeast Asia. We need to have plenty of bases in the South China Sea so that we can aim nukes at China. It's okay that we institute international terrorism all across Latin America.